the 36 lessons of Vivek. Sermon 15. These were the days of Rizdania, when Kaima and Dwemer lived under the wise and benevolent rule of the Amsavi and their champion, the Hortator. When the gods of Veloth would retreat unto their own to mould the cosmos and other matters, the Hortator would at times become confused. Vivek would always be there to advise him, and this is the third of the three lessons of Ruling Kings. The Ruling King will remove me, his maker. This is the way of all children. His greatest enemy is the Sharmat, who is the false dreamer. You or he is the shingle, Hortator. Beware the wrong walking path. Beware the crime of benevolence. Behold him by his words. I am the Sharmat. I am older than music. What I bring is light. What I bring is a star. What I bring is an ancient sea. When you sleep, you see me dancing at the core. It is not a blight. It is my house. I put a star into the world's mouth to murder it. Tear down the pylons, my blind fish. Swim in the new phlogiston. Tear down the pylons, my deaf moons. Sing and burn and orbit me. I am older than music. What I bring is light. What I bring is a star. What I bring is an ancient sea. You alone, though you come again and again, can unmake him. Whether I allow it is within my wisdom. Go unarmed into his den with these words of power. E Gyatok Padhom Kim E Al Tadun. Or do not. The temporal myth is man. Reach heaven by violence. This magic I give to you. The world you will rule is only an intermittent hope. And you must be the letter written in uncertainty. The ending of the words is Alm Sivi. Okay, welcome back. We're starting on episode three of Samuel's Trials. The Trials of Samuel. We are immediately beset by a Kwama Forager. And we also get notified that we've leveled up. Now, that's all well and good, but we won't be leveling up until we've rested. And we'll, we'll find somewhere to rest at some point, but not going to be for a while. Just going to check our skills. So we're at 9 strength, only 1 agility, uh, and only 1 endurance. So we need to essentially buy 18 skills so 9 in agility and, and 9 in uh, endurance which is fine but we'll get there just double check in my character sheet yeah okay so it'll be spear for endurance and then probably marksman or sneak probably sneak Kind of depends on uh, what uh, what trainers we're closest to when we're going to level. I think the Nine Toes in Balmora trains Marksman. But I think there's also someone in the Fighters Guild who will train Sneak or Marksman. I can't remember. We'll figure that out when we get back to Balmora. So obviously we start today quite close to, not inside Ebonheart, but actually underneath Ebonheart. 
is a cave. And within that cave, there are a few things of note. There are some rats. And there's also a character with a very interesting set of armor that I want to pick up. So I'm just going to chill out for a second, get a little bit of fatigue regen. And then we'll we'll kill these rats off. Okay, rats coming to us. There's one rat dead. I think there's three in here total. Um, one thing you'll notice about this area, the screen looks a little bit weird. I assure you that's that's not just you. It is in fact this entire area looks like this and I have no idea why um, and I have no idea how to fix it if you know how to fix it uh, please let me know it's extremely annoying uh, that basically whenever I'm in this area I just can't see anything properly all right pop down a quick save here so as I said, there's a guy in here with a very good set of armor. That's him over there. And what he's wearing is a set of armor called the Lord's Mail. And it is... the, I would say, personally, it's probably the best chess piece in the game. Um, certainly in terms of armor rating, it's the best. Now, keep in mind, we are level 1. And this guy has, you know, I mean, the best armor in the game. But we have a lot of scrolls, uh, particularly this one here, which we picked up in the last episode. So the scroll of elemental burst fire, uh, fire damage, 40 to 60 points. And fire damage, 0 to 5 points for 5 seconds. We've got that one. We've got Scroll of Hellfire, so we'll probably open with the Scroll of Hellfire, uh, and then follow up with the Elemental Burst Fire. And then I think that should be enough to kill him, but if it's not, then we'll pop our Adrenaline Rush and we'll, we'll go into melee against him. So, here goes. Wait for him to stop moving. Cast that. Cast that. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that we'd do more damage than that. Don't know if I have anything else that I could... I could use that one, actually. Oh. Okay. So you see, like, one hit will kill us. So we need, like, not only good rolls on the attacks, but also... Ugh. I've been playing Oblivion, and I keep hitting Tab to get to my inventory. Did it again. Wow, we. Okay. Try this again. This is probably the most I've had to do this, because... Okay, there we go. Now we got him. Whew. And this is this is the Lord's Mail here. So, cure poison on self. Resist magicka 20 to 30% for 30 seconds on self. Um... Value of 190,000 is very nice. But also very nice is we get a pair of shoes. Because we didn't have shoes prior to this. So there you go. Isn't it wonderful? Uh, we'll also pick up this demon katana. So the demon katana um, 
it's pretty good. Uh, it's probably not as good as the um, Sword of White Whale. Which is somewhere in here. There we go. Sword of White Whale. So it's still pretty good. Um, and with that, I'm going to drop the Iron Longsword. I'm going to double check our equipment. I think we have a new pauldron. Which we can wear. We're going to drop a few things here. Including that steel cuirass. And we don't need these. In fact, I apologize in advance. This can get kind of loud. I'm, I'll probably uh, turn this down a little bit in the in the edit. Okay. I mean, that wasn't too loud for me. Hopefully, it wasn't too loud for you either. Um. Drop those. Cool. I'm over encumbered. So let's drop the bargain chameleon potion. Don't need that. Cool. Well, there we go. So that's the first thing of the day done. That I was hoping to get done. We did blow a lot of our scrolls on that, but we'll get more. So I'm not too worried about that. And time to leave and get... Uh, our screen fixed. There we go. Lovely. Go to Belmore. Uh, wow, we save a whole gold coin. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Yeah, I still only have half heal. Mm. <sighs> yes, Outlander? Do I know you? Nope. Is there something you need? Popping on down. Let's go talk to Sean. Is here. I'll just take that skull from you. Perfect for what I have in mind, thank you. As I promised, I'll answer your questions on the Nereverine cult. Go ahead. This Ashlander cult believes the long-dead hero, Nerevar, will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to legend, the prophesied Nereverine will cast down the false gods of the Tribunal Temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders, and drive all Outlanders from Morrowind. Both Temple and Empire outlaw the cult, but it persists among the Ashlanders, who care little for Imperial or Temple lore. Here, take this copy of my notes on the topic for Caius. So we basically know all this stuff from the last episode. You can speak freely. Friend, but the friend. stuff on the sixth house in particular is going to be new information for us, which is good. I'm gonna have a chat to um May I help you? 
the people of the Fighters Guild just next door. I do love that they're actually like I suppose I have a moment. What next is door it? to each other. Are you normally there? Why am I so... <laughs> Jesus Christ, did you have to do that? Um, why am I so thrown off by her being right there? I'm ready for anything. Go ahead. Okay. Well, we're a journeyman. What can I do for you, friend? Let's go see about endurance training. So we'll train spear. For the endurance side oh, of things. Greetings. Go ahead. What shall we talk about? Yeah. Five, six, seven, nine. Hover over that, and you can see that we're at we're now at ten endurance. So I need one in strength as well. Now, I don't believe you do any of the strength training that I need. I know the guy upstairs does. Uh, Waylin? Waylin on his enemies? That guy asks way too many questions. Anytime, friend. I'm right here. Yeah, blunt weapon. Cool. So we'll grab blunt weapon. I'm listening. Go ahead. What was that? Wealth beyond measure, Alfred. So people will say like you need to pick uh, major and minor skills that you're not going to use. It's kind of true in Morrowind, but you can kind of get away with it as long as you're training um, like miscellaneous skills on the side. It's fine. Um, it just means that you don't, you know, you can't get to like a hundred in your uh, weapon skill. Um, at level one, which is, you know, it's silly anyway. Uh, I'm just gonna double check that it is agility that I need now. Yeah, so I need nine to agility. So we get sneak. Greetings, Mucera. And there we go. So we're all ready for leveling up. Pop in here. I'm all yours, please go ahead. And we'll give Kaius the notes. These are Shan's notes on the Nereverine cult. Excellent. I'm promoting you to Blade's Apprentice. Now give me some time to think how this fits with the fits in with the Emperor's plans for you. And I'd like you to see you at a higher level of conditioning before I send you out again. So take some time to polish your skills and enhance your cover story with a little freelance adventuring. Then, when you're at the performance level I want to see, I'll have new orders ready for you. Cool. So now if we try to get the next uh, orders from him, he'll say that we're not at a high enough level. Which is fine. No, no, Samuel. No thanks needed. You're doing great work. Now get out of here and let me read. I can relate to that. Cool. What is this about? So before we go and sell a bunch of stuff, because um, we do need to sell a fair amount of stuff. Do I know you? 
we'll get a little bit of uh, carry weight. I think 25 extra carry weight when we level up. Because the 25 in strength. Oh, so the, the 5 in strength that we'll get. Um, but I want a little bit more inventory space anyway. But we're going to pop over to the temple. I, I did plan to do this in the last episode, but I, I didn't in the end. Actually, I actually went in and then cut it out um, of that episode. You might have seen like a jarring cut partway through. Um, but I went in and then got distracted by something in... <laughs> uh, something in real life, and then... Uh, promptly forgot why I was here in the first place. So... What I want... is to purchase a spell... called this one, Rest of St. Maris. So again, another restoration spell. But this one recovers our fatigue. Which is actually really useful. Um, it's not a huge amount of fatigue, it's between 1 and 10 points, but it's for 20 seconds, so... That's pretty good. It's a little bit expensive, and our fatigue being low actually means it's harder for us to cast it, which is kind of not ideal. There we go. And now I can run! And I'm still regening fatigue. It's wonderful. And we can always make this a little bit better. Um, now that we actually know the spell effect of Restore Fatigue, we can create our own Restore Fatigue spell. Um, that might be more suitable for us, particularly at this level. Um, it might be better to to get one that we can basically guarantee a cast with, rather than one that's that's potentially gonna fail. Is there something you need? So let's pop down here and have a chat to the spellcrafter, and then once we've done that, we'll head off to Caldera for the next part of our adventure. The stranger. When earth is sundered, and skies choked black, and sleepers serve the seven curses, to the hearth there comes a stranger, journeyed far neath moon and star. Though Starkborn to sire uncertain, his aspect marks his certain fate. Wicked stalk him, righteous curse him. Prophets speak, but all deny. Many trials make manifest the stranger's fate, the curse's bane. Many touchstones try the stranger. Many fall, but one remains. I think if I put one at the front, I should go to the top. My list. So it's half the price, and a little bit higher chance. All that we're losing here is 9 seconds of the swell effect, but we make up for it by having a 2 higher on the minimum. It's great. Uh, and while I'm here, I'm actually going to make another one. Which is train Do you want something? So basically what these train kind of skills do is that because they have such a high well, I actually say they got such a high cost uh, high chance to cast. Actually it doesn't, does it? Fifty one. It's 41. Wow. 
Hello, Outlander. I hope you won't take too much of my time. It's probably not even worth having then. Let's delete it. Okay. Well, we're about to go to bed. Oh, I just dropped that. Okay. I'm equipping the Sword of White Woe in the anticipation that we get hit by an assassin. But we will see. Now, I believe we'll get some kind of uh, uh, quest related text here. You had a disturbing dream. You can only recall one part. A tall figure with a golden mask led you among the dead as through a wedding celebration. You heard many voices, but no lips moved. You strained to breathe, but your chest didn't move. The tall figure spoke with each figure as he passed among them, laughing and joking as if they were alive, but they made no reply. You tried to cry out, but without breath, your tongue fluttered in vain. You have ascended to level 2. Let's go. Cool. So, our first level up, we go into um, endurance for the same reasons that I talked about in episode 1. Um, it's really important to get endurance high early on, especially with a martial character. Uh, and then we go strength and agility. So strength for increased damage on our attacks and agility for increased hit chance um, on, on our attacks. So very good. And importantly, no Dark Brotherhoods. Uh, no, sorry, no Dark Brotherhood assassins coming to us. Which is nice. I'm going to cast a few of these now. Before we head through the, uh, head through via the guild guide. Because I would like to get a few level ups into restoration. Greetings. Ah. I sort of assumed that that would uh, count as like a like a partial rest, but apparently not. That's fine. So, like I said, we'll do some uh, selling of what's in our inventory, and I think Caldera is a pretty good spot for it because there are a lot of shops really close by to each other. Uh, we're just gonna grab all these potion ingredients. Because we're about to make a few potions. Okay. Apparently I grabbed one ingredient too many. I'm anticipating that we fail quite a few of these potion attempts. We can certainly try. Um, now I'm not sure if I've... Sh shown this yet. Uh, I remember talking about it, but it may have been in a previous... Um, it may have been the previous recording of this episode, um, which unfortunately has been lost due to my own incompetence. Um, but you can figure out the potion ingredients. Um... Well, not in this case. That's not a really good example. Uh, let's see. Oh, let, let's use these. So bone meal and alat hide. All right. So we don't know anything about these apart from bone meal has restore agility and alat hide has drain intelligence. Put them together. Created effects telekinesis. So even though we don't know what the effects are, because they're all covered up by question marks. Um, the game still knows and the game tracks it and actually calculates it before you even make the potion. Uh, and this works for secondary effects as well. So um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So let's look for 
restore fatigue paralyze it's you know not what you want really but there you go you could do it uh i actually think um I can't remember what the effects of moon sugar are. Um, but anyway. Let's take these together and we're gonna hopefully... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Not quite what I'm hoping for. Just bear with me one sec. Sorry about that, my dog was barking at me. Well, not at me, but at the outside world. Um, uh, I was really hoping that I'd have more things that I could do here. Okay. Uh, we'll see if we can get this one. Failed. I don't know if any of these are fortify strength. Drain luck. That sounds awful. Drain willpower. Also sounds awful. Oh, scamp skin. There we go. Restore strength. Let's see. Scuttle, no good. Store strength, drain luck. Okay, we made that one. I'm gonna try the scuttle here. See what we get. You can kind of like brute force potion ingredients here. Um, which is cool if you're like, if you're like me and you haven't remembered every potion ingredient. And what they do. Restore fatigue. Okay. Restore fatigue again. That's a nothing. That's a nothing. Uh, that's nothing. Telekinesis. Wow, it all failed. Okay, what's our inventory looking like? Cool. So we're no longer at max. And really all I'm doing there is actually just trying to get through. Um, some ingredients, it's just kind of stuff that we can sell. I suppose I have a moment. So... I've got nothing for a clothier. So let's we'll walk past that. Uh, this is a pawnbroker. I have a chat. And a moon sugar. Talk is free. What do you want? So we'll check some of his. Eh. That's a shame. Sometimes has pretty cool enchanted items, but it looks like in this case it's pretty much all junk. Gonna sell off a few of those. Uh, I can sell those as well because I'm probably just not gonna use them. These bargain potions, silver dagger. 
The glass jink blade will sell to creeper. These little daggers and stuff we can get rid of them here. Uh, cheap crystal bark. Still personality, I don't really need them. That one's really heavy. That one's weightless. That's great. here as well. It's always worth checking with the traders because their uh, stock will change. So you never really 100% know what kind of gear they're going to have. It's a recall on self, which is nice. Uh, that open 20 points on touch is quite good. Grab that. A fortify strength. For 30 seconds. Pretty good. Uh, restore health. Good. Reflect. Mm. Like some of these, some of these uh, things are actually pretty good. Uh, Emery call on self is nice as well. Uh, do you have any? Imperial shield, steel tower shield is slightly better. So we'll pick that up as an upgrade. Um, now I could sell these things. I, I kind of don't want to. Uh, I don't really need any of that stuff. Nest Sujama, nah. Nah, no Sujama. Um, I guess we'll sell the shield that we currently have. Uh, where am I going? Uh, you want something, friend? Mana. Let's go see Creeper. Mm. Oh, I dropped the moon sugar at the pawn broker. I need to go pick that up. Uh, that's fine. I'm gonna buy that. I'm just gonna drop it on the ground. May your kills be quick and many. <laughs> Up over here. I'm listening. You want something, friend? Oh god. Cool. We'll find a buyer eventually for the moon sugar. Once I use my brains, <laughs> try to figure out where it is. Uh, Head on. But uh, do you have any steel helmet? You have an imperial silver helm, which is um surprisingly actually worse looking than the iron helmet so he doesn't have anything for us cool well with that i think we'll head off to the 
uh, mine. Is there anything else that I need to do here? I could rest. Try to get some magicka back. I don't think I need it though. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. What am I? Oh, I'm using the sword. Okay. The, the good sword. Actually, what I'm going to do here is set up a few things. So, engraved ring of healing. I want the that one. Um, put that there as well. Magic menu. Oh, oh, uh, that should have been the smell. What else is there? Um. Yeah, that's fine for now. I might just pop in the. Adrenaline rush as well. Oh, I can wear Veloth's robe over everything else. That's very good. Oh, nice. Okay. Moving on up. Cool. So there's the first Telvani agent. Pop down a save here. Have a chat to him. He does actually offer training. So if I wanted to, I can go for training in here. There's not much point. Um, when you pay him gold, the gold disappears. It doesn't actually go into his inventory. So, um, which is something I tested out in my uh, previous attempt at this episode. Um, So, yeah, there's just not much point in, uh, in... You should run now. <sighs> in paying him anything. Uh, the moment you ask him about the Telvani agents, he aggros. Um, because he is a Telvani agent. So here we go. He's definitely the easiest one. Um, I'll give him that. Okay. On to the next guys. Um, now... Next area is a little bit tricky. I think probably I want to use... Adrenaline rush, definitely. When I walk in. 
So I'm going to quick save here. Pop that on. Better than I expected. Fantastic. So I want to double check that I don't have an insane amount of Fortify health on. Nope, 25 points. Okay. That's fine then. Um, there's no way that we can carry all this stuff, unfortunately. But we'll try to grab as much as we can. We'll use what we need to to get ourselves under the carry weight and then we'll drop anything that we can't use. There's some good stuff down there but it's uh require water breathing to get to it. At least I think it's good stuff. I actually don't know. Um, oh, cool. So if you've never played Morrowind, or if you've played it before but you don't know about traps in this game, every trap in this game is the same level. And so um, even with a security skill of 5, I can still disarm most traps. Uh, we'll use our amulet of opening. Okay, and there's basically nothing of value in here. But hey, at least we at least we know that. We would never have known if it wasn't for opening that chest. Grab some gold. There's a little bit of gold. There's not much. Alright. Uh, there's nothing in there, is there? Okay. Cool. And then we'll pop out. Yep. And there it is. The encumbrance effect. Okay. So, what can I drop here? Barking shock resistance. Fortify health, don't need that. Uh, don't need that one. Sujama, obviously always good. Uh, grief, it's probably the one that I also don't really need. Uh, Master I actually quite like. But it's heavier. In Sujama. Uh, cheap restore health. Uh, actually, let me pick those up. I'm gonna chug a few of these. Poison resistance, shouldn't need that. What if I speed for 30 seconds? Yeah. Uh, restore luck, restore endurance. Very unlikely to ever need them. What if I health, don't need. What if I luck, don't need. I think force. Kind of useful. I 
donate fire shield. Let me get them back though. Alright, dropping that as well. Cool. First level up in restoration. But the nice thing about this is it allows us to um, run <laughs> without losing stamina or fatigue, I suppose, rather. And as we level up restoration, it's only going to get better from here. It'd be very nice to get this onto a enchantment, actually, like we have with our uh, various other things. Cool, pop the down more. I suppose I have a moment. What is it? Once again, now I can't remember exactly, but I think it's level five that Caius needs us to be to advance the main quest. But actually, it might just be level two. Um, is there something? Can't remember. Who put that there? In any case, we'll. Uh, That's how I like it. Bold and direct. Come. I like you. So, tilt. We need a code book. Okay. Cool. What Anytime can I do for you, friend? friend? And I think to finish things off here, um, we have done a fair bit today. We've done fighter skill quest. We've got our Lord's Mail. So we're sort of building the pieces out. We've got loads more enchanted items, um, which is going to be really helpful. Crafted our first spell. What I really want to do is try to figure out a direction in terms of what kind of factions we want to start looking into. So I was thinking, and I mentioned this, I believe, in episode one or two. Uh, would have been two, I suppose. Um, that I wanted to potentially go into either the Imperial Cult or into the Tribunal Temple. Now... With us having picked up the Lord's Mail, that makes me want to kind of steer away from the Imperial Cult. So I think we will join the Temple on this playthrough. And we'll also be joining House Redoran. Um, so for House Redoran, um, that's all in, in Alderun to get started. Um, but we can actually start the Tribunal questline um, right here in Balmore. So we'll pop off and we'll, we'll go start that process. Now I can't remember exactly who to talk to, but I actually think it was the guy who we bought the Restore Fatigue spell from earlier. So let's pop in and go and see them. Uh, if it's not him, then I think it's the person in the same room as him. Because I think there are two of them in here. It has been a while since I did any of the tribunal quest stuff. Is it you who I talked to? Yeah, nice. Okay, so the pilgrimage of the seven graces. So we talk about uh, when we talk about the tribunal temple, um, obviously it's about the the, the tribunal. Um, they worship the god kings um Vivek, Almalexia, and and Sothasil. Um 
will probably as we do these I think it'd be nice to kind of delve a little bit into the lore um, and also the background of these um, of, of the tribunal um, and also the temple worship because it's all it's it's very interesting um, and it's very kind of unique in, in games so yeah so we've got the first um, the first task in the tribunal temple and I think we'll go on this pilgrimage probably next time and if not next time then maybe as we're doing other things we'll, we'll basically take a little detour um, for a few minutes and, and run around the uh, pilgrimage sites. Hopefully you enjoyed. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode.